and welcome back to another video. Happy New Year and welcome to a little bit of a Christmas haul to start this year off. I thought I would show some of the lovely gifts I received and a few little tools and things that are very much art related um, that I received and will be using this year and for future years to come. Um, I think as I'm developing as a small business and an artist, I'm definitely wanting to use much more higher quality materials and things that are made to last um, and are more light fast and just better quality in general. I think it's very important to do that sometimes. Um, you know, I'm being commissioned to do paintings and to do inkings and I should be using high quality materials to do those because I am being paid by people and people are trusting me to do very nice artwork and that artwork should last, shouldn't it? So I think it's very important to be using that type of supply. Um, and I've been lucky enough to receive some lovely gifts this year. So I thought I would start with, let's start with something that's semi, semi art related, um, but really is just, it's just the child in me really wanted to do it. I'm not sure if some of you are familiar with the Horizon series. There's two films, Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden World, I think it's called. Um, and it's it's kind of, anyway, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's a very good game and it's a very beautiful game to play. And I received the Lego um, Tall Neck from that game, um, which I very, very much enjoyed making. It's a beautiful, beautiful structure. It's very nice and if you enjoy the game you will know exactly what this is. There's a little seeker at the bottom there, an Aloy. Um, it's just such a beautiful game and um, an artist named Loish, Loish um, she was the one that did the character design of Aloy, the main character in the game and I have her art book up here with a, some of the pictures of her designing that and it's such a stunning game and a stunning creative artwork of that character so I highly recommend checking that out but I just thought I would show this because I'm very proud of it it's a bit creative and it's starting to make me want to do more lego which is a bit of a problem because I don't actually have anywhere to put these um, so I may need to clear out some shelves and clear out some storage and maybe have a little lego section um, for displaying because I, I can't tell you how addicted I am and it is my birthday in a couple of months and maybe I'll be asking for some more lego <laughs> um, but I thought I'd just show that one and then on to the actual supplies. Um, well, I guess on the same vein, it's it's an art related product. Um, it's actually the art of Spirited Away. Now, I know this is probably everyone, well, mo mainly everyone's favorite, you know, Studio Ghibli. I say Ghibli, I'm not going to change. <laughs> so if it's Ghibli or whatever anyone else says, I'm afraid I'm never gonna change and it's always gonna be Ghibli to me. But Studio Ghibli, a lot of people love Totoro and all those other ones, you know, Kiki's Delivery Service. But I must admit, Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away, it's very basic of me. They are my favorite films from, from them. So I'm excited to see the new one. I'm gonna to go to the cinema and see that soon. Um, probably this week actually. Um, but this this book is beautiful. It starts off with, you know, sketches, but these pen sketches are incredible. And then it'll show you the the way they've changed the pen sketches into the digital animation and digital artworks. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. And I must admit, other than maybe Howl's Moving Castle, I think I'm going to stop my art book, especially from films, maybe not from other artists. I'm going to probably stop that collection here because otherwise I'm not going to fit it in. Um, but it is inspiring and it's made me really want to try and do more inked and and kind of a little bit like Jess Carp does with her buildings, very much loose ink work with a bit of colour. And I think I'd really like to try that. Um, so I'm excited. This is gonna, it's very inspirational. So that's one thing that I received. I was very pleased with that. Um, a few side notes, a bit of businessy type gifts. I received um, a three in one corner punch, which if I print anything myself and I want a cornered edge on it, I can do that myself. Um, because sometimes adding a corner edge to something you get printed can cost a little bit extra. And if you can save some money, yes, it's a bit more time, but something you can do in bed, I guess. Um, and then I actually got a one hole puncher. Um, this is because my hole punch, which has two, 
Um, only one of them works anyway, but obviously it restricts how far you can put the paper in. And then I do have a four hole puncher, but again, that restricts how far you can put the paper in. So this will make doing tags and things like that a bit easier if, it, if it, the hole needs to go a lot further in. So just a really handy thing. Um, my partner is very good at getting me very practical gifts when it comes to the art supplies as well. Um, not just fun ones, but also practical for the business. Um, Next is actually this Pentel brush pen. Now I received one of these in a scroller box many years ago and I love it. I used it in my sketchbooks multiple times. Um, yeah, it's just a very heavily used one and it ran out of ink recently and I tried to get a refill, but they've redesigned the pen and I can't get the same refill for it. So um, Natalie did purchase me a replacement when we were in London Graphic Centre when we went to on our trip down south. So. Um, I was aware I was getting this, but I must admit, I kind of forgot about it. So that was a nice, pleasant surprise. Um, then we have, there's two separate, well, there's three separate materials here, but there's a bit of backstory behind them um, and also a little bit of overlap. We'll start with the pastels. So when I open my scroller box, I'm constantly saying how much I hate oil pastels. And I mean, it's the, the same, The it's still, I still do... I, don't, I can't say it's as strong as hate, but I still dislike them. However, in a recent scroller box, and yes, you will hear me say that, the, the beauty of scroller box, and I say this every time, is that sometimes you will get rubbish supplies, sometimes you will get great supplies, but it will always push you out of your comfort zone. I received these, these in fact, these are them. I received these Sennelier oil pastels, good quality oil pastels, mind, and it's a very strange colourway. And I opened the box and I thought, this is going to be a month that I hate, absolutely. Then I created this artwork, which I absolutely love. I've been trying to change it into prints, but in the end, I think I'm going to do a little mini series of um, kind of landscapes with the oil pastels. But look at it. It's beautiful. It's, it, if I do say so myself, but it is, it was so pleasant and the texture on it. I don't know if you'll be able to pick up the texture, but it's beautiful. And I really love the way this looks and I just wanted to try out some more, but obviously scroller box have a limited colorway that you get. You obviously don't get tons of colors. Um, so it's been in my wish list for probably about a year now. And I received a lovely set of 24. So, and funnily enough, uh, there's only two overlapping colors to the set that I received from scroller box. So that's really good. So we've, we've not got tons of overlaps um, in color and this is the set look at that i'm so excited and i don't say this often because i don't believe it to be true with every medium but with oil pastels i highly recommend getting good quality oil pastels i think it massively makes a difference i had a few sets that i'm actually giving away to my partner's nieces slash to charity whether whoever wants them <laughs> But I had a few sets of maybe student grade oil pastels that I used at school um, at GCSE level. And I tried them after I tried the, the small set from Scroller Box. And I must admit, they just weren't, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it at all, yet I enjoyed these so much. And so with oil pastels, I will 100%. For me personally, I think better quality means better. And I 100% say that. And if you have any doubts on wanting to try oil pastels or you hate them just as much as I hated them, I recommend you try the oil pastels by Sennelier. They are so buttery. They are so dreamy to use. They blend beautifully. They're just, they're, do you know, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed using them. And I'm so excited to have this set. So we will be creating some more artwork with this um, very shortly. Um, maybe add another landscape to that series because eventually like I say I would like to do a series of landscapes and release them as prints um, I don't know maybe some other things I'd like to release them as um, so give me some ideas below what you'd like to see these turned into um, stickers I don't know just let me know but I'm really excited to make more of these artworks um, and then next we've kind of got <laughs> I must admit we have a dupe and I think Basically, I have a wish list that, that I hand out to everyone. And I think um, if things are bought at the same time, obviously, it's not removed from my wish list straight away. Or, you know, a multitude of things may have happened and I've had a dupe. 
um, of two sets. They're different sized sets, but they are of the same thing. But again, I looked at them and there's only a couple of duplicating colors, which is really good. So I have a bit of a travel set and I have a bigger set to use at home. So I'm actually really pleased. I actually don't think when you're using high quality supplies, it's a bad thing having more than one set personally. If you're gonna use them, why not have more than one? And it doesn't really matter. I quite like having duplicate sets because one can stay a little bit more pristine than the other. Um, and I just think things break, things change. So basically, let me get on to actually what the supply is instead of waffling on about having too much of it. Um, I received these uh, graffiti tint. No, they're not graffiti tint. That's not what I meant. I received these ink tents blocks from a scroller box again. Um, they are by Derwent. Um, they're ink tents blocks. So it's basically a block of it's like a condensed ink slash watercolour. So there's a little granulation in them um, and they're lovely. And I actually had these in my Etcher mini satchel for traveling around and doing art out on the go. And as you can see, a lot of them have snapped. So I'm thinking of getting a little like um, old school vintage tin for these to go in. I think that'll be quite nice. Um, but this is what I received and I've used lo them loads and the artwork I've made with them has been this popular print that I've sold a lot of of this cheetah it's really beautiful as you can see there's a lot of granulation in there there is some beautiful vibrancy and color but as you can see the color <laughs> the color variation is a very odd mix of colors so I've had again these in my wish list for a while and I was kindly purchased two tins like I mentioned so we've got this big um, tin of 36 and then this lovely tin of 12 and like I say there's only a few duplicate colours um, which is good and I'm probably going to use this for travelling and I'm probably going to use this at home because I'm, that's too big to be travelling with but they're gorgeous and the colours are gorgeous so I've already tested out the smaller tin couldn't help myself um, but this is the lovely set. So a really nice essential set of colours. You've got the rainbow, basically. But you've got some earthy tones. You've got your blues running into your um, purples, pinks, oranges and yellow. So there's a, a perfect array of colours and it very much gets your head going into colour theory and mixing colours and having to make your own colours, basically, to, to get what you need to do. But that is a lovely, lovely set and I've enjoyed doing them. I've actually... Where's my sketchbook? And on Christmas Day, I did use them with another supply, which you'll see soon. <laughs> and I replicated this wacky, wild um, image of our dog, Mabel, when she was out at a secure field running around like a mad puppy that she was. Um, and I did use them for that. So you can get the vibrant colours. Hold on, let's pop this over my shoulder. You can get the lovely, vibrant colours, but you can also get these lovely soft tones. So this was done with the smaller set of the ink tanks blocks and look at it, look at it compared to this. Such a difference, you can get such lovely contrast, but that was just a little sketch that I did on Christmas day to test those out. Um, now the bigger set I actually haven't opened um, yet. I've lifted the tin lid off, but there is a lovely <laughs> um, cellophane over the top of it, but that is the other set. So you've got You've got that lovely rainbow of range of colours, but obviously you've got a lot of intermediate colours in between those and it will massively help. But like I say, um, this, oh, dropped one. The ones that I got from Scrollerbox, I think there's maybe three overlapping colours. And then, sorry, and then the lovely smaller tin. Again, there's only, I think, four or five overlapping colours in that. So there's still a couple of new colours in this set. So we will have to see what we swap in and out. Um, but I'm I'm obsessed with these. These have been my favourite supplies for a while. Like I say, I've been taking them out and using them out and about quite a lot. And I just think you can never have too many of these. They are vibrant. They, they go really far actually. So, you know, I'll be using these for years and years to come. Um, and I just think they're a really quality supply and I recommend anyone to use them. You can get them in pencil form and you can also get them in watercolour form as well. So Derwent are really, they're one of my favourite um, manufacturers of art supplies at the moment. Derwent and Karen Dash, I must admit, are some of my tops at the moment. I'm really enjoying them. And then the final thing I received is again another Derwent and this is actually an extra large graphite. So 
if you've been watching again scroller boxes i've been receiving a lot of their graffiti tint paints slash um i think we received a charcoal tint paint set just in this last scroller box and it is a water soluble colored charcoal slash graphite depending on which set you use and this is those but in ginormous blocks so you can get the ink tents blocks that we were just looking at in this size as well i don't think i would ever need them this big i think the, the size that they are is perfect but look how incredible look how thick that is it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and the colors you would be surprised the pigmency in these colors i'll swatch all these out and you'll see all this after this talky segment but the colours you get out of this, but with this hint of deep charcoal, so you get some really muted tones, they're beautiful, very, very nice. And again, I actually use, you can use them dry, you can use them wet, like I say, they are water soluble. Um, but again, I actually use that on this mad painting that I did, where is it? Um, in the background, see all the squiggly lines? Can you see the texture I got off that? So it's like a texture of graphite, but then you can add water to that as well and run that out so if i wanted to make that more of a splashy effect i could add water and that those graphite blocks will run um much like graphite you will get it on your fingers so you will need to fixative it as you can see i've already got it all over you will need to fixative but you can get the lovely texture or you can add water and get that lovely pigment and muted deep tones um in fact they're kind of similar to let me get the artwork they are in they are similar slash if not well, they are basically graffiti tint. They're basically graffiti tint paints. Um, now, let me find the artwork. I've just seen it, so I know it's in here somewhere. So, my Holy Island print, which I think I've still got a few available on my website. If you do like this, same with the cheetah. There's a few available on the website. I painted this painting of the Holy Islands, which is somewhere in Northumbria, um, and it's a little island that gets often cut off, I think, twice a day by the sea. Um, and the tide rate rising too high um, and it's a beautiful place to go highly recommend but I did this very moody painting of a reference photo I took there and that is done with graffiti and paints which is basically these but these are in block form not in paint pan form so you can get some lovely artwork here but like I say shameless plug these two are still available on my website as prints I will be doing a January stock clearance where I think it's up to 20% off um, I will be doing so um, keep an eye on that it's end of Jan I will be doing that it's an online sale um, so these will be available on that so if you do want to grab one just head on over to my website at the end of the month or follow me on Instagram and you'll see some updates I might even do a little video here to announce the starting of that online market and the sales so you keep an eye out and subscribe if you want to hear about that but they are lovely. I love how big they are. I feel like I could do just huge paintings. I've really, I've really been craving doing huge paintings and that last painting's a bit of a flop. I will do an update on that soon, but I'm not enjoying it and I want to try something new and I feel like having a supply like this might be the next step to doing that. But I've been very spoiled. I've been a very lucky girl and I'm excited to try some good quality art supplies and show you what they can do. So let's get to swatching. Let's swatch them out. And then we can create a piece of artwork with one, if not all of them. I think they should all work together in some way. Maybe not the oil pastels, we'll see. But let's get to doing some of that and try these out. And I hope you see how good they are and want to get some for yourself because I highly recommend it.
those colours. I mean, these are the ones that I received in my scroll box. This is me cleaning that one off because that's the thing that I have trouble, trouble with with oil pastels is that they get dirty quite easily. So that's because of all the artwork I did with it, but that's the actual colour of the pastel. Um, but look, there's actually, other than black and white, there's no dupes in that, that selection compared to this selection. Um, maybe this one might be a dupe, but the yellows are certainly not. The uh, yellow ochre is certainly not, and this uh, tealy colour certainly isn't as well. But this, <laughs> this is what I had to really get past, but they're buttery. Some of these are definitely more buttery than others. Um, let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go, shift on. Um, some are definitely, definitely more buttery than others, um, but they are beautiful to work with and I'm really, really excited to just do something nice with them, do some of these landscapes. We've got a lot of greens to play with, a lot of earthy tones to play with, so they'll be beautiful and I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think that's going to be beautiful. So let's get on to swatching the ink tense blocks and then the graphite blocks. And then that's everything swatched and we can decide what we want to do with them after that. look at that colour. Why does this much colour bring me so much happiness? <laughs> it's beautiful. So that is all the ink tense blocks. I did the top here as the scroller box one. The first selection here is the smaller set and then the rest is the other set. And as you can see, there's actually not many dupes at all. Um, and even the dupes that are there, the more olivey green colour, the ochre colour, do you know, they're they're colours that I definitely think I will use the most of, you know, the more earthy tones, the things that I'm going to do landscapes and animals with. Um, and maybe not so much this bright green that I seem to have three of, but, you know, there will be there will come a time and a place, as you saw from the cheetah painting, there's colours in there that I usually wouldn't use, like this bright pink, yet I used a lot of that in that painting. And maybe I go a bit more abstract with some of my artwork, I don't know, but there's a beautiful array of colors here and I will certainly use them all. And like I say, I will probably use this smaller set and my um, scroller boxes 
ones as more of a travel set and then this set can stay here at home um, but it will definitely give me the freedom and the colour choices throughout the, all of the sets to create some lovely colourful artwork. So the last thing to now swatch out is the XL Graphite which I'm going to swatch out at the bottom of the oil pastels here um, so let's get on with that and see what colours they can throw out with us and then we can have a look at this array of colours and decide what we want to paint with them all.
right so this is the finished piece it's a really really rough piece and it's based on a photograph I took of a um, an adult magpie here in the UK and their baby they were sat on the fence in our garden just looking at each other being fed um, and it was just a beautiful shot and you can really see all the colors in the magpies the beautiful vibrant blues purples greens and slight bits of yellow and I really tried to capture that whilst being a bit loose and I did want to do the challenge of incorporating all the supplies together and I feel like I very much did that and um, so yeah so I tried to just incorporate all the supplies as you saw I did a lot of the colors with the um, with the ink tent blocks and then I used the graphite blocks for the fence just to block that out and then I actually the photograph I took has a very blurry green foresty background and so I wanted to kind of mimic that and I thought the oil pastels would be the best way to do that I definitely think I could blend them a bit more but I do think it pops out and you can see all the colors behind them and I think they still pop in front of that maybe I could have blurred them a little bit further maybe I will maybe with, a, with my finger or a blending stub I will blur them a little bit further further and just allow those magpies to pop but I thought it was a really nice little challenge and a little sketch in my sketchbook I've only got a couple of pages left to do in this sketchbook so hopefully we'll have a sketchbook tour soon so if you want to see that keep an eye out and subscribe and we I'm sure there will be plenty of videos that you will enjoy if you've enjoyed this one um, to come there will be vlogs and art videos and challenges and testing new supplies a whole mix of videos so there is something for everyone and hopefully you would like to stick around so thank you very much for watching this haul and art video and I hope to see you in another one soon so thank you very much for watching goodbye